Well, tonight, patients in and around Buffalo have another option when dealing with heart failure. The therapy is called cardiac contractility modulation, or CCM for short. It involves a small device that's implanted near the heart, which then helps the heart pump blood through the body. And joining me now in studio to talk about the device and therapy that doctors are doctors Chi Kim from Kaleida and Dr. Zachary Lil from Catholic Health. First of all, thank you for joining us on the 530. Thank, Thank you. you. As we talk about this device, and I know that we hear more and more about congestive heart failure that's out there, tell me how this breakthrough technology is actually saving lives. So it works similar to a pacemaker, but there's some notable differences. It delivers more energy during a different part of the heart's um, electrical cycle, and that leads to a stronger squeeze, if you will, to put it kind of simply. Are patients able to resume normal activities once they receive this? Yes, absolutely. There is a, a healing period, but it's similar to a pacemaker implantation. So within several weeks, they really don't have any restrictions and they actually start to feel better within hours of actually having the device placed. How many people have received it and is there a waiting list? How do you get it if you need it? I think combined between Kaleida and Catholic Health, we're probably up to about a dozen or more devices at this point. Um, the biggest uh, waiting issue so far has been insurance approval, and uh, we're working on that, showing uh, what great results people have had and how they're getting back to their activities that they enjoyed previously. When we talk about heart health, more and more people are concerned about their health, especially their hearts uh, at this particular time. What led to Buffalo being the place where we're seeing this? And is it in other parts of the country as well? It is, but it is a, a very new device uh, and application is for a certain population of patients. And because of our expertise in our area with, with heart care, uh, we, had, we were selected as one of the few centers in Western New York to get it early on. So who would be a candidate for it? What are, what are the, what's the protocol? So patients who suffer from congestive heart failure because they have a weak heart muscle and patients that have been on medications and are not candidates for other types of devices are the ideal candidates for this type of device. Do you find that people know about this or they don't know about it until they go to their cardiologist? It's relatively new in, in the U.S. and our area, but it's been around in Europe for about 20 years. Um, so it, it is typically something that they'll hear about through the cardiologist. Tell me about a patient who has received this. Where were they and how are they now? Well, uh, right here in the studio, we do have uh, one of our patients from about two months ago who was previously unable to walk to his mailbox from the, from the house. And as soon as he got home, he was able to do that again. He's, he's told us that. And, how he's been improving even beyond that. So getting back to his normal activities, normal hobbies and things. So hoping that we can hear um, more from him sometime soon. What's the outreach been when you talk with cardiologists around the country? What are they saying to you about this? Um, we've had very favorable um, responses from patients and physicians. And so um, it really is um, a, a new tailored therapy for heart failure patients that is really catching uh, on. 20 years ago, nobody was probably even thinking this, but now it's 2023 and we need this, don't we? Because you're seeing more and more cardiac patients. Absolutely. All right, yeah. Dr. Lil and Dr. Kim, thank you so much for joining us on the 530. Thank you for also bringing a patient. We'll make sure that we talk to him and we'll have him on a future show as well. Thank you for but having me. Thank you thank for this you. information on this breakthrough technology regarding heart health, we appreciate it.